Creatine has become the trendy supplement of the moment, but is it worth all the hype and is it safe to take it? And should you be taking it? Well, I've been taking creatine for six plus years, plus I've been recommending it to my client. And there's one massive thing that I've changed my mind about. I'm gonna go into a deep dive on everything about creatine and women over 40 in this video. Hello fam and welcome to my channel. My name's Melissa Neal and I'm the CEO of Body by Bikini and I've helped over 13,000 women transform their bodies and their lives through my programs. So I take what I've learned in these videos working with 13,000 women to help you transform your body. Creatine has been my go-to supplement personally for me, as I said, for six plus years, plus I recommend it to my clients. But in the beginning, in 2019, I actually took creatine as a bodybuilding supplement for preparing for shows because my coach back in 2019 actually recommended creatine for me it helped me and in that time of taking creatine i did absolutely transform my body into a leaner more muscular shape but now creatine has become the mainstream for absolutely everybody and it's being talked about in terms of addressing lots of other health concerns especially cognitive decline and you've got the likes of Andrew Huberman and Rhonda Patrick actually recommending this supplement for people for women over the age of 40 and they're actually recommending it as an anti-aging supplement rather than a bodybuilding supplement so what's the truth is it effective is it actually safe and if you're going to use it, how should you use it? I'm going to be talking about all of that in this video, but let's first talk about what creatine actually is because it's completely misunderstood. I have been recommending creatine with my clients for over four years now. And I remember back in the day, I used to get a lot of resistance to creatine. Now, I remember I had one particular client and I recommended she dosed five grams of creatine per day. Now, I'm going to talk about dosage later on in this video because that's been completely blown out of the water. And she turned around to me and she said, Melissa, I don't want to take creatine. It's a performance enhancing drug. And I said to her, well, Creatine is actually naturally occurring and you can buy it in any kind of supermarket. They sell it in Costco and it's in pharmacies as well. So if it's a performance enhancing drug, there's kind of a lot of mainstream shops that are like drug dealers, basically, if it's a performance enhancing drug. But she wasn't convinced and she still wouldn't take it. Well, Thankfully, because of the huge popularity currently there is around creatine, when I now recommend it to clients, I barely get any resistance about it. But there is still a lot of myths around creatine, which I'm going to explore later in this video. But here's the truth. Creatine is a naturally occurring substance that actually is already in your body and it's in stuff like meat, Beef. But the reason you need to take a supplement because you'd have to eat so much beef to get the amount of creatine you need to experience the benefits from it. Our bodies actually have creatine in our liver, our kidneys and our pancreas, but it comes in red meat and also fish. In our brains and in our muscles, it actually helps generate something called ATP, which is your cells quick energy currency. So it's really amazing for kind of short bursts of energy. So things like sprints, lifting weights, high intensity interval training, jumping, and your muscles rely on that. But here's the truth. As we age, our hormones 
are shifting. So we're going into like perimenopause, menopause, our estrogen, progesterone and testosterone is actually dropping. And that affects our muscle, bone and metabolism recovery. And now there's emerging evidence for women specifically over 40 that creatine can help with all of those things. But not only that, our brain health. So what benefits can we actually experience if we're over 40 and female? That's what I'm gonna talk about next. I know with my own body, I've actually built muscle and lost fat since I've been taking creatine over the last six plus years, but I've got nothing to benchmark it against because I also started training in a different way and I also made real changes in my nutrition in that time. So I've got nothing to compare it with. So that's why not only do you need to look at my body, we actually need to look at the science, don't we? Because I don't know what I'd be like if I hadn't been taking creatine over those last six plus years. And honestly, I don't really know whether it's made a difference to my brain health, but it could be about the dosage, which I'm gonna talk about later. So let's look at the science. Research has shown us that older adults, if they're taking creatine and they're doing resistance training, it actually makes a difference in terms of building muscle. So they're gonna get improvements in muscle mass, their strength, and their functional capacity. For women, a 2021 review concluded that postmenopausal women, when consuming higher doses of pro creatine, so that means 0.3 grams per every kilogram, combined with resistance training, actually benefited from it. Because generally, for menopausal women, what's gonna happen they're going to lose muscle mass, they're going to lose bone density. And so anything that can help with that is going to hugely benefit you. And let's talk about your metabolism. Most women, when they're transforming their bodies at this stage in life, and I know with over the 13,000 women that I've worked with, they don't really want to gain weight. What they're looking for is they, go, they want to lose fat and build muscle all at the same time. However, if you're in a calorie deficit, so that's expending more energy than you're consuming, what's gonna happen is it's kind of harder to build muscle and what you can end up doing is risking losing muscle. And there's lots of things that you can do about that with diet and exercise, but creatine can also help with building and retaining muscle, especially when you're in a calorie deficit. And that's super important for women over 40 because we wanna maintain our metabolism. So let's talk about your brain health. There's a lot of talk around this, and this is why I wanted to make this video, because that's the thing that's changed over the last two years and what people are talking about in terms of the research and cognitive health and creatine. And a lot of people are now taking creatine just purely for their cognitive health. And that's because there's emerging research that creatine can help with fatigue, cognitive health, mood, and even sleep, especially in the aging population. For women over 40, we're dealing with hormone shifts that I described before. We're dealing with things like sleepless nights, and recovery issues from training. So it takes us far longer to recover from workouts than it did in our younger days. And so this is really interesting for me because I think there's been a massive shift in the last two years and this is being talked about in older men and in older women. And we're gonna talk about actually, it's probably gonna benefit older women than more than men when we're talking about creatine. So that's why I wanted to make this video because not only has that thinking shift because of this new emerging research, but also the dosage, which I'm gonna talk about later, that shifts as well. And when we're talking about women, women are gonna benefit far more than men by taking creatine, especially when it comes to muscle building, because we have less 
naturally occurring creatine in our bodies. So we have 70 to 80% less than men do. So studies have shown that women taking creatine is gonna have a bigger relative impact than men taking creatine. Now let's talk about safety concerns and what are the side effects because I know when I make content about creatine, I see a lot of comments. Many of those are actually myths. So I can address the myths. People say things like, oh, it's gonna make your hair fall out. I have completely normal thickness of hair. The hair thins anyway to do with aging, but there is no evidence to support that like it's gonna make your hair fall out. People think it actually makes you gain weight as well. There is no evidence to show this. Creatine is one of the most heavily researched supplements that is out there. So I actually believe it's probably one of the safest supplements that you can take. But there are some exceptions to that. Some people are gonna need to take doctor's advice or probably not take it at all. So if you have a health condition, it's really important that you do consult your doctor before you start taking it. But people with some kind of problem with their kidney function, kidney disease, or you're taking medication that puts stress on your kidneys, you probably shouldn't take it or consult your doctor before you take it. Now, as for the side effects, some people report that they get kind of like bloating and water retention and it is going to kind of put a little bit of hydration into your muscle which is kind of a good thing. So when you're taking creatine it's really important to stay hydrated. That will mitigate water retention but also protect your kidneys. Next let's talk about the dosage because that is the big change and why I wanted to make this video. And it's important to get the dosage right. Since I've been taking creatine since about 2019, I have been adding one five gram scoop into my water. So I've got like a big mug of water there. Normally that would be prior to training or during training. Now there is a, another way that you can take creatine which you can kind of cycle it. So you do 20 grams for kind of five days and then you reduce it to kind of three grams. And interestingly, this packet here, this is creatine monohydrate, which I recommend you take. They actually say to take three grams. But now the research is telling us to take 10 grams a day. So that's adding in, I've just put five grams in there. That's adding in an extra five gram scoop. Now, why is that? Well, previous research on creatine wasn't looking at bone, brain, immune system, or metabolic effects, nor were they looking at older women. Fast forward 30 years and hundreds of peer reviews, and now the message has dramatically changed. At 10 grams a day, you're not just reaching muscle tissue, you're reaching bone, brain, and other tissues, which are gonna be hugely beneficial in terms of anti-aging. And creatine is showing surprising benefits on your bone health, which is massively important as you age. Now, the product that you need to buy is creatine monohydrate. That's what I've got here. You can take it in gummies and tablets, I prefer to do the powder because I know I'm gonna get the massive hydration by doing that because what I do is I add it to water. So normally when I take creatine, I'm gonna be drinking around about a litre of water when I do that. And a litre is 33 ounces of water. Creatine is like any other supplement. You do need to combine it with nutrition and exercise especially when you wanna see the muscle building and the metabolic effects. Taking creatine without proper nutrition and exercise is like watering this plant pot without any seeds in it. You are not gonna get anything to grow. And if you wanna get your exercise and nutrition right, I have some free training and some free downloads that you can get today 
by clicking the link in the description. So you're going to know exactly how to eat, how to work out, and I'm throwing in my free nutrition guide and meal plan and my vacation workout and meal plan. So you're going to have a lot of information and guides at your fingertips to get the nutrition and exercise right if you're planning on taking creatine or even if you're not. So let's recap. First things first, creatine is specifically really useful for women over 40 and the latest research shows it's not just going to help with muscle development but it's actually going to help with your bone health and your brain function and it's a great anti-aging supplement. Creatine is perfectly safe but if you have a medical condition you do need to check it out with your doctor and supplement now with 10 grams a day rather than five grams a day. So I do hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments whether you've been taking creatine like me for a very long time or you've just started, or maybe you've watched this video and thought, yeah, I'm gonna definitely start now. Let me know in the comments.